New Brexit Secretary Dominic Raab is to hold his first meeting with the EU's chief negotiator Michel Barnier today. It comes just as the EU sends out its strongest warning yet to member states over the need to prepare for a no-deal scenario. Our correspondent Brian Carter will be following it all in Brussels. Brian, good to see you there. It's Dominic Raab's first visit to Brussels. What reception can he expect? Hello, Tooks. Well, he'll probably get a good reception, a diplomatic reception. The EU institutions and EU leaders are eager to uh, meet this new person to see if it's somebody that they can uh, work with. Now, little details have leaked about uh, the meeting between him and Michel Barnier. We're not even sure of the exact uh, timing. We know they spoke over the phone once uh, last week uh, and that Dominic Raab tweeted uh, today a, a bit earlier that it was time to intensify our negotiations. But uh, the EU is still uh, carefully optimistic, I would say. After all, uh, Dominic Raab uh, was a leader of the Leave campaign. He's uh, been a strong critique of the EU uh, for his whole career. He was somebody that was close uh, to uh, David Davis, a man both they share uh, Eurosceptic views and a love apparently for uh, boxing, but with different punching styles. While David Davis was perceived as somehow uh, distant from the talks, uh, uh, Dominic Raab is seen as uh, somebody much more uh, dynamic that really wants to push these negotiations forward, but not necessarily in the way the EU would like them to be. So, well, I was just speaking to Vincent in London about the possibility of a hard or a no-deal Brexit. Uh, what's Brussels saying about that? Yeah, absolutely. As uh, Vinny said, and this is something that really uh, apparently Dominic Rabb has been working a lot on, the preparing for a, a no-deal uh, Brexit. And uh, last week, actually, the European Commission sent a document to the different member states about uh, what would happen in the case that there was uh, no deal, that they needed to do uh, to make contingency plans as of now to avoid, as Vinny said, these uh, doomsday scenarios where food would run out, with tr trains would uh, stop uh, circulating and planes would stop flying. Now, some diplomats in the EU say that this will never happen, that they will prepare for this eventuality, but still uh, we have to see whether or not they can come up with a plan to avoid a no-deal. Nobody here wants to have a, uh, a hard uh, no-deal uh, on, on Brexit. Everybody wants to be able to find an agreement so that things can go uh, smoother. And the tone is also different here now in Brussels, whereas in the past they were really pushing Theresa May very hard on some issues. Now it seems that uh, they've toned down a little bit uh, uh, in the hopes that they will keep Theresa May on board because they're afraid that if they push her too hard on some issues that she could lose her leadership and then they wouldn't know who would come afterwards and that could potentially even uh, accelerate the breakdown of talks.